I'm going to do another camp stove build today. These seem to be the most popular videos that I have and now that I've got over a thousand subscribers, thank you to everyone, I thought it was time to have a go of this build I wanted to do for a while, which is using a thermos cup and not one that you can just unscrew and pull apart the two layers, but one that's all fused together. So what I did was bought this from Kmart. It was $8. It came with a little fold-up spoon in the lid, which might be useful for camping too. Um, so the basic plan is to use this saw to cut some slots in this area, and that will be for the main flames to come out. Um, I'll also drill some holes and cut a slot in the side to let the air in and I'll plan to drill into the bottom of the combustion chamber into here to let the primary air in for the primary combustion um, and as I did last time I'll use the mesh from a stainless steel tea strainer take the mesh off put that into the bottom and that will keep the fuel away from the where the air enters so that it'll have a nice even distribution of air um, I'll also reuse this blower that I've used before. Um, it's just a battery powered blower to force the air in. Um, this is from another project, but if it works well, I'll uh, fix this up as well so that it fits nicely into the side. So that's the plan. Well, I've drilled the holes and given it a little test burn. Um, this hole in the side I've decided to use my step drill because it's so convenient for cutting through. Um, this is the mesh I've made that sits inside. One thing with the step drill I've discovered is you've got to be careful that you don't accidentally drop it onto your glass tabletop, which is what I've done. I dropped it from about here landed tip first and my tabletop is no more little lesson in that for everyone so here we are I've uh, put it together. I changed my mind on a few things. I reminded myself how hard it is to cut stainless steel with a saw so instead I went back to using a drill. It's much easier. So what I've done is I've drilled around the top lip. I've drilled 12 holes at 5 millimeter, and down in the bottom I've drilled 4 holes at 3.5 millimeter. I've center punched another four dints, but I don't plan to use those. I was trying with a smaller drill, a 2.5, but it was too difficult. So I, instead of eight at 2.5, I'm doing four at 3.5. Um, and then I used a step drill to cut a hole in the side. Um, so what we end up with is the total area of the holes. The area of the primary holes is about 38 millimetres squared. The total area of the secondary holes is about 236 millimetres squared. So that's a ratio of 6 to 1, which is about right. 5 to 1 is about the normal starting point I go for. Um, but I've copied these holes from another stove that works. Um, this is the stainless steel strainer. I've cut the mesh out and uh, cut it into a circle and folded it over. So now that sits inside and you can see there that when I put the fuel in that will keep a nice gap. Um, this is a little pot stand I can either put it on like that or I've got this other one that I made using um, an angle grinder I cut it out of a, a pet uh, food dish, a stainless steel dish which can sit on top of there and that can sit on like that if I need to cut out more wind. So now we're ready for a test burn. I'm going to fill it up with paper kitty litter pellets and we'll see how I go. Okay, now I'm ready for the test firing. 
So we'll put some metho in just so it makes it start a bit easier. It's just a few drops. Okay, and now we'll light it. There we go. Okay, can't really see the flame much, but what we do is let that burn for about 30 seconds or so, and then we'll turn the fan on. Um, there is flame there, you can't see it. Okay, so let's try putting the fan on. Okay, that looks alright. Now we'll put the pot stand on. pretty good. Can't see any smoke at all. The metho would have burnt off by now. Alright, so I've got a pot here with two cups of water. So we'll put it on and see how long it takes for that to boil. Okay, it's seven minutes, I've just checked and it is boiling quite hard. It might have been boiling for a while actually. <laughs> There's a fair bit of breeze at the moment so it might have slowed it down boiling and it also makes it harder for me to see that there's actually steam coming off. Um, but we've still got plenty of flames going. So I'd say it's a success. Yeah, so pretty happy with that. I'll see how much longer it will keep boiling for. It's eight minutes, it's really boiling now. What does my cat think? Melly, what do you think of the stove? It's good, isn't it? Yes, it's very good. That cat's impressed. Okay, it's ten minutes. Uh, I think the fuel has been used up now, so we've still got some heat there, but no more flames. So it'll continue to boil, simmer for a while, so we'll just see how long it continues to simmer for. But there was no smoke, and there was a bit of breeze, which usually makes it more difficult. So yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the end of the useful heat there. So that's, a, well, coming up to 14 minutes now. Um, so this was using paper kitty litter pallets, uh, which, is, which is this sort of stuff. Um, this probably doesn't have much energy as a fuel but burns quick so if we try sticks broken sticks we probably get a longer burn maybe take a little bit more work to get it going hot but uh, kitty litter like this is just really light and easy to carry in your pack so it's it's good to have on a hiking trip as a backup if you can't find dry wood Nice glow in there. I'll turn the fan off. That should die away. 
Uh, excuse the rain noise. Um, another test of how well it's burnt is what it looks like, the stuff that comes out. So if we pour it out, we can see that we have not much uh, burnable material left in there. So it looks like it's pretty good. Um, it's burnt pretty well. So if everything was completely white ash, I'd say it was burnt as well as it could possibly burn. There's a little bit of black stuff, but there's no unburnt pellets. So we must have a reasonably good um, distribution of combustion in the, in the unit. So I'm quite happy with that.